Thank you for electing me onto the Alluvium main council. I am ready to further Alluvium's dominance in the crypto gaming space. Now, when I first started making content for Alluvium and essentially devoting my life to what has always been a childhood dream of Pokemon for adults, this was not where I thought I would end up. I don't know who would. I don't. That's that would that would be quite an interesting way to look at a project when you first enter into it. I want to enter into it. I want to become a council member. That's yeah. When I first found Alluvium, I didn't even know what a council was. I was actually relatively new to the crypto space, uh, generally speaking. And as I started to learn more, I felt like I had a lot more to give to the community, and that I could always help the project. And until that stops being the case, I will continue to do what it is that I do. As you can see here, very many people voted for me to be on the Alluvium main council. And for that, I am very, very honored. But this is where it starts, not where it ends, not where, not the middle. This is where it starts. Today, I'm going to mostly read off script and talk about the sorts of things I want to see improve in Alluvium and my plan to enact that change and make the DAO stand out in 2025. I want Alluvium to win, as ruthless as that sounds. I want Alluvium to be the top crypto gaming project for the next 10 to 15 years. I always have, and I always will, and I'm going to do everything I can to make that happen. Now, if you also have high hopes and dreams for Alluvium, please let me know down in the comments so that others can also read the comments and our community can continue to highlight some of its best aspects. When the community comes together, that's when Alluvium works the best. You should see the way it actually motivates the team to work even harder and get things out faster. When the community is positive, Things go way better. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. If you have, let me know. But I honestly definitely have. So I've got three things I really want to talk about in today's video. User acquisition, which is basically the only thing I've been spouting about ever since I said I was going to nominate for the Olivia Main Council. The changes I actually want to create in the DAO in terms of structure, process, and whatnot. And some topics on landowners. Now, I'm not haven't fully fleshed out kind of how I view that whole aspect, but there are a few things that are very important to me on that front that I do want to talk about today. So the first one is user acquisition. Now, I don't know how much impact I'm going to have as much impact as I possibly can. Don't get me wrong. But the council is ultimately a governing body. What I know is that I can really relay information to Kieran in a coherent manner at all of the meetings and all the rest of it and get a better idea of where labs is at and where I think labs might need improvement and so that I can help coach the community through that part of the process. But as for my own personal feelings on this subject, there are three main things I think Alluvium really needs to do to get that user acquisition up. Besides the obvious ones, I'm not gonna talk about onboarding and fiat on ramps. That stuff is obvious as hell, okay? Just ignore that for now. That stuff is obvious. Two of the three main things I want to talk about is new gameplay experiences. Now, the overworld is fantastic. The arena, also great, especially Gauntlet. But we have the building blocks to keep expanding this stuff. Now, arena, you need to enhance it, polish it, fix it. That's all good and well. But I think with the overworld, there is so much untapped potential there, it's not even funny. Multiplayer is the obvious one, but some sort of simple battle royale will give Alluvium those viral moments for it to go onto Twitter and post a video of someone taking out another player, but not with a gun. They're sending out a ram fire, it's going and knocking another player out. That stuff, that is what gets people to go, oh shit, maybe I should download this game and give it a try. Those sorts of gaming experiences, things that Alluvium doesn't quite have yet, and I think would help the project a lot. The second one is large tournaments, competitive esports. I kind of felt like esports was overrated for a little bit, to be honest. I didn't really give that much credit to it. I'm like, yeah, I mean, you can attract some people, but how big is it really? But Parallel has shown me the error of my way. Parallel, all of their tournaments, they drum up a lot of excitement, even while the world is doing dissimilar things. 
There's a lot of Web3 projects that are showing that you can drum up a lot of excitement and get people to start trying out your game because they want to be in with the cool kids, essentially. They want to be like, they want to have that aspiration for being a pro player and winning a $100,000 prize pool. Once Alluvium starts doing that, after they polish up Alluvium uh, Gauntlet and Ascendant and things, I think it's a big way to draw large crowds into Alluvium to get them started playing the free parts of our game and then looking further into the IP and other aspects of Alluvium. I think it's a really big deal. Off the back of that is the third thing. And that is bringing the arena to mobile. We already know Kieran has started talking about uh, arena to mobile, porting it, getting people to start developing on that, which is absolutely fantastic. But I think people underestimate how big of a deal that is. Now, we have to assume Gauntlet is in proper top peak state. Now, Gauntlet's fantastic right now, but there's a few updates and things it needs, obviously. Once it's in that prime position, it being on mobile is actually a pretty big deal, especially since... The Asian countries in particular are really fond of TFT. A lot of the US countries enjoy it, but they tend to enjoy things more like League and some other shooters and things like that. They're a lot bigger in those sorts of markets. But the Asian countries and all the countries that are really big into mobile gaming, they love TFT so, so much. And so getting Arena onto mobile will actually like be a massive catalyst for player growth inside the Alluvium ecosystem. I don't maybe it's just a hunch maybe it's a gut feeling but like i think it will actually be a really big deal now on to my second point of note changes i want to create in the alluvium down now these are quite simple i don't know how to enact them yet I, i'm eager to talk to the team talk to previous councils talk to other people i've already talked to a lot of people about these sorts of things but the first one is the community, yes, but especially the council, it needs a little bit more transparency in general. And I'll touch on that in a minute, minute. But transparency on the literal priorities is one of the big ones for me. Although the team can put up roadmaps and things like that, it's always been hard for me to gauge, even being on the ICC and in the community, it's always been hard for me to gauge on the literal priority. You can say um, overworld combat, multiplayer, uh, ascendant rework but which order is that what's being made first i know they're all all concurrent but if labs doesn't have a list of this one is the utmost most urgent priority then they need to have that list and council needs that list and we need to find a way to get that to the community this sort of transparency in this sort of information is one of my highest priorities going into the council for this next epoch the other one is council oversight on things that are similar to the airdrop points. Obviously, Labs admitted that they made a bit of a mistake when it came to things like the survival mode arena and the 1 million airdrop points. That is all what it is. I don't know what exactly it looks like because airdrop points is kind of its own realm and you can do it for more airdrop points, but what other aspects of the DAO are really important to run past or other aspects of Labs are really important to run past the council before they go to release. I don't know what that looks like because it's important to leave a lot of the dev uh, work to the devs, okay? The council is not the team. The council is not game designers. But things like the airdrop points, it would have been really nice to have that go through the council. And I'm going to find as many things along those lines that need to go through the council and hopefully make sure that they go to the council first before being released because I really don't want the survival mode 1 million points airdrop happening twice, okay? That's really where I'm coming from there. So transparency, more transparency, as much as I could possibly manage or make sense for the community to know and oversight on things like the Alluvium airdrop point. And the third one is this, the landowners, I don't, know where I, put this. <laughs> I don't want to be political or anything. Um, land has been a bit put into the back of mind in recent times. Now, I don't put the issues with the fuel exchange in that same boat. Now, obviously, it should have been tested earlier. That was just the nature of things. People had to get games out. They had to get things released. They were just doing everything they possibly could. And they're working on fixing all the fuel exchange issues with selling fuel and stuff like that. That's not what I'm talking about. 
But some of the information, the transparency regarding where land is at, how close it is to launch, if it's almost ready or not, a lot of that has been kind of juggled and, and it hasn't really been the best communication between labs, the, the council, and the rest of the community and the DAO in terms of land information in general. But more importantly, I'm not sure the landowners have necessarily had much of a say. Now, you can say that they're a community member like anyone else. They can make proposals and things like that. That's all good as well. But land is a core NFT in the Illuvium ecosystem. And I don't know if it's even possible on Snapshot, but I would actually really like for landowners to have some sort of voting power in Illuvium. I think that's important. They can't necessarily elect anyone yet. And uh, many people have suggested things like maybe even a body of landholders or something like that. In my mind, I see more like a landowner committee. You have people get elected, even maybe even the IMC just handpicks people like they do with other committee members. And they have this reference of people that they can go, okay, we know this inf inside information, you're under NDA, we can ask you these questions and see how you feel about it as landowners in Alluvium. I want to build those bridges uh, as quickly as I can. I have a feeling it'll take a little bit of time in the epoch, but I really want to start building those bridges with the landowners because land is an integral part of Alluvium. It's it's adjacent to ILV token and the ILV token probably has a higher market cap or whatever it is, but land needs a say in one way or another. And I, I hope to be able to build some systems there, but that's another one of those things where I'm going to need your help. Um, I might suggest something and I might've just said it now. I might've said like, I want just like a committee the IMC could handpick. You might think that's a terrible idea. And I want to hear all those thoughts. Leave them in the comments, but most importantly, leave them in feedback ideas, tag me in the Lufium Discord, whatever it might be. We're going to walk towards this sort of thing as well. That's another thing that is important to me. Now, thank you for listening to all my ranting here about what I want to do for the IMC, but I cannot thank you enough for everything, all of the support these past three years. Scoriox wouldn't be here without pretty much every subscriber, every viewer, every returning viewer, everyone. It wouldn't be here without you guys. And I don't, and, but don't think that that stops here. I will continue to need your help and support all the way through to the end of 2024 and deep into 2025 throughout these next nine months as we bring the Illuvium vision to life. I also plan on making more videos related to future game ideas, critical discussions around proposals, and live streams that allow us to find solutions to a big, Illuvium's biggest challenges as a team. That is what we need to do. One brain is, is useless. What I'm telling you right now, one brain is useless. If I'm working with dozens, if not hundreds of you people of the community and other people on a day-to-day -day basis, then you make sure that I'll keep my head on straight and I'm putting forward the right information and the information that you guys want to present to the council, to labs, to everyone else. We need to work together. Thank you.